Hello my soccer universe and welcome to, yeah, I want to do it now for the first time that I'm just giving you a little bit updates and uh, bits and bytes. I'm going to talk about the midweek cup action now in Italy and also in France. Uh, since Liverpool and Wolves still have to play to round out the Premier League round, so you will get that video tomorrow. And then uh, we are also in already at the weekend. Um, see what I'm wearing for you. I got this jersey in September. I didn't have many reasons to wear it. I think once in the Champions League and so on, and then I didn't wear it much, and I love it. I really wanted to have a Napoli jersey for a long time. And Napoli was actually the first team that was playing in the Coppa Italia. That was already Tuesday evening. They played against Lazio at home, and honestly, to me, at first, the most interesting part uh, was how will Lazio play? Because we have Napoli in the light blue and then Lazio cannot play in their home jerseys, that's for sure. Will they play in white? Will they play it in dark blue? I was hoping for a dark blue and that's exactly what we got. It was actually a very beautiful jersey matchup. And it was one of the craziest starts to any game. First of all, it is uh, Lazio coming in with an 11-game win streak and Napoli being completely out of any sort uh, lately in, in the league. But they get a bright start in Insigne slaloms through uh, the Lazio defense in the second minute and puts it into the net from close range. And it's 1-0 Napoli. And yeah, bright start. Interesting game about to come. Didn't, and it was then very interesting uh, because um, uh, Husay brought down Caicedo in the box. Pretty, if you look at it, I mean, in play at first, I thought, oh, this might be uh, is he really giving a penalty? And I saw the replay, yeah, this was a clear pen penalty. So uh, he is being um, brought down, immobile steps up, and Something was wrong with the ground or the grass or whatever, or he had the wrong shoes. Anyway, uh, he puts, he plants his left foot and slides away. He takes a shot, but it goes over the bar. And I had a feeling, yeah, this might not be Lazio's evening <laughs> from that point on. Um, then they get another break. Husay is uh, being sent off uh, with a yellow red because he fouls again a lot to player who would have been through. It was a well-deserved um, uh, second yellow card. So red card break for Lazio. You, th you play for the rest of the game with a man up. That is usually in your favor. Well, that memo did not go to Lucas Lera where again there was a um, Lazio player sliding in midfield. Uh, the ball goes uh, to Napoli, who run to the goal, and Lucas Lera needs to hack him down, and he gets a yellow card, and I don't know why he's protesting. Be glad that you just got the yellow card. It was fully uh, okay to give the yellow card. He blah, 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 sent off red card, and it is unbelievable. Those first 25, 30, 30 minutes were absolutely crazy in that game. Fortunately, I had to then really take care of my little daughter who needed to fall off asleep, so I didn't see much of the rest. And I can tell you when I saw the highlights, it was all Lazio thereafter, but Lazio couldn't convert. I think they hit once the post, but they could not find the equalizer, which is kind of staggering given what form they were. There was only an occasional Napoli chance, but this was a big shot in the arm for Napoli who make it to the semifinals. Also through to the semifinals is Juventus. And that game I saw the first half, Juve Roma, we had this a few weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago. And look, suddenly the two teams can play in their respective home jerseys and it actually looked all right. Uh, yes, it does not look all right what Juve is playing in, but it at least the colors with black and white against the all red of Roma. And yeah, it was... I was expecting an open game, but the one thing I have to say, Juve going forward, um, it took a while to, to get rolling, but uh, you could, could at least see that there was some um, um, danger coming. When Roma, they had their, they, at least once I, I can remember, they got the ball very quick, started playing out, and then it goes sideways, 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 sideways. And instead of playing fast, they played slow, and they cannot get a chance. They didn't even get a chance, a short, short and goal out, out, out of that. And that was still when it was nil-nil, and I thought, yeah, maybe Roma can um, keep it a little bit open. Nope. 
Uh, Ronaldo, who I read today, eats six times a day. Potentially, ESPN, I think, put that fact out and snaps five time, times a day. I think six times eating, I can manage. I would love if I could nap five times a day. I would love if I could only nap once a day. <laughs> but no, not going to happen. So, I'm not going to be Ronaldo any, anytime soon. Not that I want to be, to be honest, but yeah. Anyway, he gets the ball and takes a really good shot. It was not hard, but it was very well placed. It makes it one in the 25th. Fifth minute, and that was basically the last thing that Roma needed because I really had the feeling that Roma needed to be a the goalkeeper needs to be in good form and b they need to get a break with um, taking the lead and maybe then riding it home. So that was not happening, but Roma still at least they tried to get something. But with that defending that they had, I mean, uh, when the ball I think it was the 38th gets to Bentancur, there are five Roma players around him. Uh, one makes a half-hearted attempt of stopping him. He just can st uh, pulls it around and then pokes it into the net. A shot that I never had the feeling should go in. 2-0 Juve and Bonucci right at the stroke of half. That makes it 3-0. Game done and dusted. I actually switched uh, then uh, and, you know, my wife came home and I said, yeah, I'll be with her because uh, I'm fully with her. Because that game, game is over. I saw that then Undis, uh, Unda with a really nice shot uh, that went against the crossbar, then back of uh, Buffon and in, made it 3 1. And then I think uh, Roma hit once the post that could have made it 3 2, but also Igoin had a few chances to put the tie safely away. It ends 3 1 for Juve, and Juve is also in the semi finals. Um, I was a little bit disappointed because, you know, with Juve now going on to, to the semifinals, they will play the winner next week between Milan and Torino. And, yeah, it's either Turin Derby or, as I will hope, that it will be Milan. But, hmm, I'm not uh, very excited about that draw. And I have to say, the Coppa Italia, on the one side, the seeding ensures that you have always big teams playing each other, which kind of uh, creates excitement. On the other side, it doesn't give you the cup feeling. Juve will play away to the winner of Milan versus Torino, and Napoli will play at home against the winner of Inter against Fiorentina. Briefly, there was also, of course, the uh, Coupe de la Ligue in its last edition, so I was actually think sure, should I talk about it. Well, Teams take it seriously. We had Lyon play Lille in an uh, interesting game where Lille took the lead through a penalty through Moussa Dembélé. Then uh, short shot there actually uh, Lyon equalizes and they get a late uh, lead in the 85th through Hussein Awa. Um, and you think Lyon is through, but in stoppage time, Lille gets another penalty. A little stupid foul. And Remy puts it home 2-2 and it goes straight to penalties. Well, Lille misses the first and the last. And so Lyon is through to the final. In the other semi-final, I didn't realize that Reims had seemingly won the last two home games, uh, games against PSG. But PSG this time was not to be denied. They get very early from a dead ball situation, which is not necessarily there. Um, Strong suit, uh, Marquinhos from a corner kick, makes it a ninth 1 0. Then uh, an own goal in the third, 31st, after I think a free kick, 2 uh, 0. And Kouassi, uh in the 77th makes it 3 0 for PSG. I think the most um, notable thing was that um, an attack on Mbappé goes to Mbappé and he tries to put it in with his hand. Um, in the 90th minute, which would have made it 4 4 0. I think um, he got a well deserved. Uh, yellow cover. So it's uh, Lyon against PSG in the final match of the Coupe de la Ligue for now. Is, I think, a good final. We all know who's the favorite. Let's see how it will go. Anyway, let me know what you watched of these games that I said. Um, how did you enjoy it? Ah, one last note. I almost put uh, the Copa del Rey. I need to put a little bit Copa del Rey in there because I also saw a little bit of uh, Barcelona against Ibiza, against Ibiza. And Ibiza had a lead very early, early, early on and I saw the last half hour and it seemed real like they could do it. But Griezmann with two tiny chances makes it 2-1 so Barcelona 
gets off the hook. I thought this was quite interesting to see. And this was one of the rare occasions. I didn't really realize that I was wearing a Bar the Barcelona jersey that I was wearing yesterday for the What to Watch video. I was wearing it during the game. I usually don't do that. So I didn't bring bad luck to Barcelona necessarily. Anyway. Let me know which mid-week uh, cup games you watched, if you did, if you agree with my assessments of the, um, especially the Coppa Italia games, because that's where my focus was on uh, during the midweek. Give it some thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.